Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would film a foundation declutter. Uh, so I already have a pretty good idea of which ones I'm getting rid of. And it's nothing crazy like half of my collection or anything, but there is quite a few that I am going to get rid of. Um, I just need to kind of make some room in my collection. And some of them have gotten really old. Others of them I just don't like. Uh, so I am going to kind of declutter today and clear out my collection a little bit. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So this basket here holds all of my cushion foundations. So I have the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. Um, this one is a little deep for me, but I do really like it, so I'm going to hang on to that. Then I have the J-Cat Foundation. This one is actually even deeper, but I also really like that. The Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. Um, this one is great as well. Then I have the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. One of these is no longer being made. I need to figure out which one of these has been discontinued, and I will go ahead and get rid of the one that's been discontinued, but I'm not sure which one it is. Um, and then this is my Laneige BB Cream and not be yeah it's a it's a BB cushion um, and then the backup that comes with that one so I'm gonna hang on to these and then I'm gonna figure out which one of these has been discontinued and pass on that one and then keep the other one this basket right here holds all of my stick foundations and little samples so I have a sample of the Anastasia stick foundation I'm going to get rid of that one I did not like that one at all um, and then I have the Maybelline super stay I did really like this one I think the Revlon photo ready. I don't remember what I thought of this, so I'm going to put this in a maybe. I know I liked the L'Oreal Infallible Sticks, so I'm going to keep that one. I think I liked the Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation as well, so I'm going to hang on to that. The Wet n Wild Stick Foundation. I'm going to put that as a maybe as well. The ColourPop one I did like, so I'm going to hang on to that. This Maybelline Fit Me one. I think I liked it was okay but I'm gonna pass on it just because I very rarely reach for my stick foundations and if there's four right here that I know I love and then these are maybes there's no reason to keep one that I just kind of liked um, alright and then the rest of these oh this is an hourglass a sample of the hourglass stick foundation I maybe have like two uses left in this and it's getting pretty old so I think I'm just gonna pass on that just throw it away um, and then this is just like a little foil packet sample, so I'll hang on to that. Um, I have a sample of the Clinique Even Better Makeup. I do really, really like this foundation, actually. Um, it's really nice, but I've had this for a long time now, and it's about half empty. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of that, and then maybe one day I'll purchase this, um, like, full size. But for now, the sample is just really old, so I am going to pass that on. This is the Tarte Found Sealer Foundation. This one's really nice. It's not as good as the Tarte, um, not the Shape Tape, but whatever their new foundation is that they came out with. Shape Face or something like, Face Shape or something like that. That one's a lot better. I did have to return mine of that just because the color was way too light and I have not picked up a new one yet. But this foundation is really nice as well. I have a sample of the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. This one I'm still kind of forming my opinion on. It's been out for a while. I just kind of forgot it was in there, honestly, because it was so small. So I'm going to hang on to that. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation. This is her newest release, um, and I did include this in my most recent like ranking foundations video, so I will link that down below if you are interested. Um, but I'm going to hang on to this. I really like that one. And then I have a sample of the Tarte... Um, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I do really, really like this foundation, so I'm going to hang on to that. So there we go. And I think that can segue us into this one. So this is the full size of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I really, really like this foundation. I went through a phase where I didn't love it and I wasn't using it very much, but I do really like it. However, this actual foundation, like this bottle, is probably four or five years old, which is just gross at this point. So I'm going to throw that one away. So then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. Um, this isn't one of my all-time favorite foundations. In fact, I like her new one more, but I do think this one's nice. So I'm going to hang on to that. Then I have two from Giorgio Armani. The Luminous Silk is my favorite, um, so I really enjoy that one. And then I also have the Power Fabric. This one does give a little bit more coverage than the Luminous Silk, 
Um, and I really like this one as well. It's just not my favorite out of the two, but I do really like it. So I'm going to hang on to those. Then I have the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. Um, really love this one, so I'm going to hang on to that. Next, I have the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation, which is one of maybe my all-time favorite foundations. I really love this foundation and the finish that it gives my skin. However, I have it in the shade Nude, and even in the summertime, this foundation is very, very dark on me. Um, it makes me look very orange. So I don't use it that often. Um, I actually didn't even wear it at all this summer, I don't think, um, and I can't wear it in the winter. And it has an 18-month shelf life, and I've had this since it was released, I don't know, what, three years ago? So I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to throw this one away. But I do love this foundation, and I think that I will repurchase it in a lighter shade at some point so that I can actually wear it year-round because I love this foundation. All right, then we have three here from Dior. So this is their um, Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This one's not my favorite just because it's so like sheer and lightweight and I do prefer more of like a medium to full coverage foundation. However, it's nice. So I'm going to hang on to that for days that I want that kind of a finish. Then I have the Dior, Dior Forever. This is the older one and then this is the newer reformulated one. The new one is the um, matte version. It's not the dewy one, it's the matte one. Um, I like the old one a lot more. Um, the new one's still nice. I'm definitely going to hang on to it, but I like the old one a lot more. I'm about halfway through with this one, so I'm going to hang on to it and finish it up. Um, I love this foundation so much. It's such a pretty foundation. Alright, two here from It Cosmetics. I have the Bye Bye Lines Foundation. This one's nice. Um, it's nothing incredible, but it is, it, it's a nice foundation. It's fine, so I'm going to hang on to that. And then this is the um, Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. This is different from their CC Cream. Um, but if you watched my recent Raking Foundations video, you saw that I didn't really love this one. Um, it's not a huge, like, oh, that, that foundation was just awful. Um, but it's definitely not my favorite, and I've only used it once. So I am going to actually list this on my Poshmark if you are interested in that. So that is where that will be. And it's in a pump, so like it was totally sanitary and everything. Alright, then we have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. This is their new release. This one's not my favorite. I honestly kind of wanted to return it and then I had already thrown the box away. Um, it's not bad by any means. I just, as I started trying more of the other new foundations, I realized I liked some of them more. Um, but this one's not bad. It, it's not bad. It just kind of got dry on my skin by the end of the day, but um, I do really like that foundation. Alright, then we have the new Pat McGrath foundation. This one is super pretty. I really like this one. It's a very kind of sheer natural finish, um, but it's really pretty, so I'm going to hang on to that. Then we have the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. This is one that I could see myself decluttering in the future. Um, just because I'm not loving it, but I did just recently get it, so I'm going to give it a little more of a chance. Then we have the MAC Studio Fix um, foundation in NC25. This foundation really confused me because back in the day, like all of high school and most of college, all I wore was the MAC Studio Fix powder foundation, and I like went in and they matched me and everything, and I was NC25. So when I got into liquid foundations, I was like, okay, I'm going to try the fluid one. And I bought the NC25. This foundation is so dark and so yellow on my skin that it is not wearable. Um, so it's been sitting in my drawer for like three years, just never being used. Um, because for some reason I didn't return it. So anyway, I'm definitely going to be getting rid of that. All right, from Nabla, we have the Close Up Futuristic Foundation. Um, this one is nice. I do like this one. I thought I remembered not liking it, but I tried it the other day just to be sure, and I actually really enjoyed it. So, gonna hang on to that. Then I have a smaller size of the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. This one is nice. The shade isn't quite right for me, but um, the foundation's nice. So. I'm going to hang on to that. I don't actually love the foundation. If you watch my full face of benefit, you saw that in action. 
didn't love the foundation, but I do really like it paired with their powder foundation. Um, I feel like those make a good combo. So um, gonna hang on to that. Then we have the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. I don't know if you can see, but this is just like real watery. It's just it's very old. Um, this has a shelf life of 24 months, and I've definitely had it longer than that. Oh, I thought it looked watery, but it won't even like. There we go. Um, anyway. This foundation, people rave about, and so I was really excited to try it. I heard such amazing things about it, and thought that I was going to love it. And this is one that, like, some days I would try it, and I'd be like, yeah, I like this. It's nice. And then I'd wear it again the next day and be like, oh, I don't like the way this looks on my skin. It was very, very finicky foundation, um, and so I just never really found myself reaching for it because I want a foundation that I can trust, I can grab for, and know is just going to work for me no matter what. Um, so for that reason, it's old. I don't love it. So I am going to get rid of it. This new Fenty Beauty foundation. I love this foundation when I first put it on, but by the end of the day, it is so oily and it's like all gone. It's like completely worn off my skin, which is a bummer, but I'm going to hang on to it just because I just got it. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. Maybe wear it in the winter time and see if that makes a difference. Um, but yeah, that was kind of a bummer. All right, these NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundations. I did a foundation review on this foundation when it was first launched, and um, I really liked the way that this foundation wore. I know a lot of people did not like this foundation at all. I liked the way that it wore. The shade range, however, is awful. So this is shade light, and it is way, way, way too light for me. And this is shade nude, but it is like a greenish, grayish tint on my skin. And there were people in the comment section in that video even telling me that my skin looked gray, um, which is so weird. So I'm definitely going to get rid of these. I feel like they've maybe even discontinued this line because so many people didn't like it. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I heard that somewhere. So um, definitely going to be getting rid of those. All right, we're making progress. Not a lot, but we're making progress. All right, next up we have the Catrice HD Liquid Foundation. This is a beautiful foundation. Uh, it is really, really pretty. I have it in 10 light beige and 20 rose beige. This one's too light, this one's too dark, so I do actually need to keep both um, so that I can mix them. But this is a gorgeous foundation, so I'm gonna hang on to this. All right, Wander Beauty Light Illusion. Bella Boo, you were kind of in the way. Can we move, pumpkin? All right, thanks. Okay, Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. So for sure, I'm definitely gonna get rid of this nude L3. It's not really nude, it's kind of yellow toned and it's a little dark for me. This one I'm torn with though. So it's, it's supposed to be like a dewier foundation, but I wore it the other day and it just like completely wore off of certain parts of my skin because it got so oily and I don't have super oily skin. This one's going to go in the maybe pile. I think I'm going to give it one more shot. All right. This LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I do really like this one. I like never pull this out and wear it, but this is a really good foundation. So I'm going to hang on to that. Then we have these three NARS foundations. So this one is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. When this one released, a ton of people were saying really good things about it, so I bought it, and I do not like this foundation. I wore this to school the other day. I'm a teacher, so like, as a teacher, I wore it to school the other day. And y'all, even my eight-year-olds, my third graders, were like, are you wearing makeup today? Which, like, I wear a full face of makeup every day, but they noticed that something was different the day I wore this. They were like, are, are you wearing makeup? You're wearing a lot of makeup. Do you have powder on? Like, this foundation looked so terrible. Like, I had to go to a meeting and I was honestly embarrassed to go sit at the same table with some of these adults that I had to sit next to because of how bad this foundation looked on my skin. Um, it just looked incredibly heavy, incredibly powdery, really. It, like, had dried down to, like, a powdery finish. Um, and then there were parts of my, my face where this was just completely missing altogether did not like this foundation, so definitely passing on that. 
This one is one I'm torn on. So this one is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is another one similar to the Fenty Foundation where it looks so pretty right away. It lasts for a couple hours, super pretty. But by the end of the day, I'm just an oily mess and I don't have oily skin. I don't know how people with oily skin wear this foundation. Um, I think I'm going to hang on to it for now. Like, I feel like there's a time and a place for these foundations where you just need it to look good for a couple hours and then, like, who cares? Um, and in that aspect, like, these are really nice. Both of these are really nice. They're hydrating. Like, in all those aspects, they're great. So I think I'm going to hang on to it for now. I should probably get rid of it, but I don't want to. All right, and then we have the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. This one I really like. I wear this one again today, and um, it's not dewy at all. Like, I was scared to try this for years because I thought that it was going to be way too glowy for my skin, um, and it's really not. It's really, really pretty, so I'm going to hang on to this. Anastasia Foundation, love this. This was in my top two out of my new foundations that I ranked. Um, really, really, really love that foundation, so definitely hanging on to that. This Dose of Colors one, I'm still still deciding on. I'm still not completely convinced, um, but I, I definitely like don't have a huge issue with it. I just, it's not my favorite. So, I'm going to continue trying that just because it's so new to me. This Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, this one is very sheer coverage, which is not something I go for, and very luminous. This is one that really is super duper luminous, and it just continues to get more and more luminous as the day goes on. It wears off my skin, um, and I know a ton of people love this, but not me. I don't know, so I'm going to pass this on. All right, these two right here. I love both of these foundations, but they are both very, very, very old. Um, they are both very affordable, so I can definitely see myself repurchasing these in the future. Um, but for now, I'm going to pass on them. So this is the e.l.f. I think it's called Flawless Fusion Foundation. It's not written on here anywhere, but I think that's what it's called. This is in the shade Sand, which is like maybe a shade too light. I mean, a shade too dark. Um, but, like, I can always make it work. Um, but anyway, I do really, really love this. It's just too old. And then, same with this Wet n' Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This one is in Buff Bisque. Same thing. This is maybe a shade too dark, um, but also it's just just too old. So I'm getting rid of that. Like, you know, this still says new on it. Like, when was this foundation released? I don't even know. We have a lot right here in a row that I am getting rid of. And then that might be all I'm getting rid of. No, it's not. Okay. So this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25-Hour Breathable Foundation. Another one that's just too sheer coverage and too glowy for me. I tried it and it just wore off way too quickly on my skin. So passing that on. And actually, this one was like super sheer coverage. I tried to build this one up and I couldn't. Like it was just very, very sheer all day long. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. I pulled this out to try it again to like decide how I felt about it and like if I wanted to keep it or not. This shade is definitely too dark for me. You can tell that just by looking at the bottle. But, um... It, ex it says it expired August of 2019, which was just a couple months ago, but when I tried to pump it out, it was just like a oily, watery mess, and I could not, no matter how much I shook it and stirred it, could not get it to like go back to its right consistency, so that tells me that this definitely needs to be thrown in the trash, so that is what I'm going to do with this. Alright, then we have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This one's actually almost empty. I had a phase where I really loved this one and used it a whole, whole lot. Um, but I'm kind of getting into more full coverage foundations, um, and this one, this one does give a decent amount of coverage, but it, it definitely gets glowy, um, and that's not something I'm super looking for. I like to add my own glow. I don't like for the foundation to kind of dictate how glowy it's going to be. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. This one is amazing. Um, this is a really, really good drugstore foundation, so definitely going to hang on to that. Then I have two CoverGirl foundations here. I have the Outlast All Day Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. This one is great. However, it's too light for me, and it expired in August of 2019. So I'm going to throw this one away, um, but I will definitely repurchase this in the future. Um, but shade 825 was a little too light, just slightly. Um, and then I have the True Blend Matte Made foundation. Um, this one is... I do like, um, I don't know that I like it as much as I like the Outlast 3-in-1 foundation, um, but it is a nice foundation, so I'll hang on to that one. 
Okay, then two from Makeup Revolution. So the Conceal and Hydrate is their newer one. This one actually got number one out of my ranking new foundations um, video. So love that. I'm definitely going to hang on to it. And then the Conceal and Define is just as good. These are both really, really great foundations. So I'm hanging on to those. Then this ColourPop one, I really, really love. Um, there are days where I wear it where my husband's like, oh, your makeup looks funny. He knows, like, I don't take offense to that. Like, <laughs> we talk makeup all the time just because I'm constantly talking makeup for YouTube and he's great and listens. Um, but anyway, so he's kind of picked up on makeup stuff throughout the years. And so he'll tell me, like, my, my makeup doesn't look good or whatever. But then there are days where I wear this and it looks really good. So I don't really know. These shades are very different. I have light 60 and light 75. Um, so I kind of mix the two. So I do, I'm going to keep both of those. All right. I think most of these I'm keeping. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. This one I was kind of scared of for a long time because I thought I didn't like, like, super duper full coverage foundation. And that's what you hear about this one. But it is a really good foundation. So I'm going to hang on to that. This Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. Love this. Gonna hang on to that. She released her newer, like, luminous one. Tried that. Did not like it. Everyone was raving about it. I wanted to love it. I think I've just realized I'm not a big fan of luminous foundations. Like, there's a few that I can handle. Um, but, like, overall, I'm just not a big fan. So, um, definitely, I, went, I, went, I returned that one when it released, but... This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Um, this one I'm gonna pass on. This is very similar to the. This one's very similar to the Smashbox one that I was talking about. In that, like, some days I had really good skin days, and then the next day it would be wonky, and I just couldn't really ever figure out how to work this foundation. Um, and at this point, it is very, very, very old. Um, I think they've even redone the packaging and stuff, um, and it's way too dark for me. So I'm going to whoop, gonna pass that on. Alright, then we have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. I love this foundation. I liked their old one more, the Matte Velvet Plus. Um, actually, no. I think th I think I do like the new one more. I loved their Matte Velvet Plus. It was like one of my Holy Grail foundations, but I think... Th I know I did a video comparing the two side by side on my face, and it's been such a long time that I can't remember, because I haven't tried the old one in so long. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember liking this one more, actually. I need to pull this out and use this. I haven't used it in a while. Alright, then we have the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. This is another really amazing drugstore foundation. It's similar to the L'Oreal Infallible, but these are both really great, so I'm hanging on to that. This is the same one, but way too dark. This is in shade 130 Buff Beige, so I'm going to pass that one on. This Beauty Blender Foundation I really like. Again, I don't use this one enough. I need to pull this out and use it. Um, but I do really like that foundation. I'm going to pull these closer. Alright, the Revlon Color Stay Full Cover Foundation. I do not like this foundation. It is definitely a matte foundation. And it's like moussey. I was expecting to like it because I thought it would be similar to like the Tarte like Amazonian Clay Foundation. Because that's a super moussey one too. But this one is a lot more full coverage. A lot more matte. I don't know that I would say more full coverage. Just a lot heavier and a lot more matte, um, and so it, it seemed pretty drying on my skin. It looked drying on my skin, at least, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then we have just the original Revlon Color Stay. This is, like, my holy grail has been forever from the drugstore. Um, love this one. I'm almost out of this, so I'm definitely going to keep that. Then I have the Revlon Candid Foundation. I do like this one. I can't remember, like loving it. I don't know, but I do, I do remember that I liked that one, so I would hang on to it. This Cover Off FX foundation is really nice as well, so I'm going to hang on to that. And then also these Lottie London ones are really, really nice, so I'm going to hang on to those. So let's see, how many... I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on this Flower Beauty one. Just like looking at these, I know that I have so many more that I want to reach for over this, so I think I'm going to pass that on. I think I'm going to do the same thing with these two stick foundations. Like I said, I like never reach for stick foundations. And if I have four here that I already know I like, like what's the point in messing with these? 
But then I think I am going to keep both of these cushions. Just because it's discontinued doesn't mean I can't use it up. So I think I'm going to use that up. I don't ever reach for cushion foundations, but I do prefer a cushion foundation over a stick foundation. So I feel okay with that decision. So let's see. I have 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, so I'm keeping 50 and I'm getting rid of 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, Oh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six. All right, I'm getting rid of twenty-six, so not bad. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.